is Jack Spierka with the Ice Marketing Group again, and today we're going to go over how to customize your template in Google Blogger's blogging system. Uh, the last lesson we taught you how to change your template. Now we're going to show you how to modify your template and make it a little more personalized and a little more uh, your own. So now we're going to go and uh, just click on Layout. And once we're here, we're going to go into Fonts and Colors. That's the subcategory you'll want to click to do this. And if you're looking at the screen now and you've never seen it before, you probably already have a good idea of what to do at this point. What you're now able to do is you're able to go in and select any particular characteristic of your template and change it. Let's start with something simple like the page background color, which is right in this area here. Uh, we have it selected in this, this menu over here, and now we can go in and we can make it white. We can make it any color that we want to and change its shading. We can make it black. We can make it green. You get the picture. You can change it to any type of color that you wish. The text color, we can do the same thing. Now, this is a point where I don't want to pick on anybody, but I want to, I want to go over something that I see that's a common mistake. I see a lot of people do things like, oh, I don't know, pink font. Uh, or they might go into the background and they go with a bright yellow because they think it's cool and it's pretty. There may be some times when these cheerful, bright, super in-your-face fonts fit in. Maybe something about toys or something like that, if that's what you're doing. But in most instances, it's better to use more subdued colors. It looks a lot more professional. You're not going to go over to IBM's website or Google's websites or anything like that and see people using pink font and yellow backgrounds. It's really hard on the eyes if you notice the clash there, too. So use a little bit of, I don't know, temperance as you're picking your different colors. Um, but we can go in and do any type of modifications we want. Here's where I want to give you some real advice. Let me let me get that text color back to a, a basic black before I go any further because I just cannot see it that way. Uh, it really hurts my eyes to look at pink font. So anyway, let's go into now link color. Link color is one of the settings you really have to think about because your links are both in your text and on the side of your blog. So let's say you had a two-tone blog with a bright white over here and a dark column over here. You really need to think about the link color that you choose so that you don't make your links blend in on either side. You want them to stand out and be visible. So that's one of the areas to really uh, think about. Page header background, that's simply this space right here. and We're able to change, actually that's the header, I'm sorry, right here. We're able to change the way that that appears. And we can pick just about any color we want. Black, that's nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to change the header text to a different color. I could change that to a gray. You'll notice how it starts to blend in. This is what I'm talking about. You have to look at what you're doing. Dark blue might seem like a good color for font, but not if your header is black. I'm going to go ahead and take that back to a white header. I'm going to go in, let's see, sidebar text, type, that's this right here. Let's go with a dark gray. And then we have to change our title text. Again, you want whatever changes you make, you want to really look at what's going on here. And then let's go up and page header background, page header text, page header corners color. This is this color right in here. Okay, I'm going to don't like that. I like that. Now, see what I did is I changed those two colors so that they match, so now I get pretty much an all upward scrolling. And I'm going to go ahead and save my changes. My changes have been saved. I can go ahead and view my blog. I'm going to go ahead and open a new tab so I can keep the screen open. And we look, and this is what's really nice. Now my blog doesn't quite look the same as everybody else's. And there's really no limits to the things that you can do uh, with changing your colors. Let's go back over here a minute. If you have a color that you want to use that you don't see, there's what's called hex desk colors, which is just simply these letters represent a particular color. You can look up a chart with every color under the rainbow, and you can go ahead and manually enter these in, and that will change the color as well. One thing I want to caution you with is, is you're changing these things. So these things were put together by designers that pretty much know what they were doing. Uh, so 
you know, you you may not want to go too far to a different extreme from the beginning of the template. Uh, but but in all honesty, use your own judgment. Put it together the way you want it to look like. And what this really does for you that's nice, remember when we looked at pick new templates? Let's go back in there for just a second. Remember we looked at some of these that were like really dark. Now let's say you wanted to use this template. You could go ahead back in and you could lighten up the areas where your text is in or change your font to make it more prominent. Uh, I don't want to do that. I kind of like what we came up with here. So this is how I'm going to leave my Chardonnay blog for future lessons. Uh, but there you go. That is in, in just a few minutes how you modify your templates. So go ahead and make your blog or your group of blogs your own. Make them something special, a little bit different than everybody else's. And make sure you c tune in for the next lesson on blogging with the Google Blogger system. And we'd like to thank you for watching this video. This video was copyright 2007 by the Ice Marketing Group, LLC. For more videos and to learn how you can be a more successful Internet marketer, visit www.marketingice.com.